In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to estimate how long a retirement nest egg will last based on some assumptions here. All right, so we're going to assume that we have a million dollars and that in retirement, we are going to be in a safe asset somewhere and we're earning about 4%. All right, and then uh, just for illustration, I put 40,000 here, which just happens to be 4%. All right, and then uh, if I do this, the principle of my savings will stay at a million dollars, right? So uh, if I have a million dollars, I earn 4% on it, right? I'll have a million 40 at the end of a year. Uh, I can withdraw $40,000 and still have a million. All right. So if we do this, uh, there's no point in estimating. We'll never run out of money. But if say we want to do something like see how long it will uh, last given a higher withdrawal, or if we want to see uh, how much can we withdraw if we want it to last for 25 years, uh, we can use a couple of the Excel financial functions to estimate that. All right. So I'm going to be using the PMT function and the N per function to do this. All right. And these two functions are typically associated with borrowing money. Okay. But all of the financial functions can be used either as the party or counterparty to some kind of debt or asset. Okay. All right. So I'm going to arbitrarily decide that instead of withdrawing 40,000 a year, we're going to withdraw 75,000 a year. We're going to leave the 4%. All right. And then if we just want to see how long that will last, if I do this, I can use the N per function to do that. All right. So I'm going to earn 4%. Okay. And uh, I'm going to withdraw the 75,000. All right. And then I am going to uh, set the, the beginning balance. All right. And, and with all these financial functions, generally, we make the present value negative so that my answer will come out positive. All right. And then the last two arguments, FV and type, FV is future value. We're going to assume that's zero. All right. So I can leave it blank. And type just talks about, well, when does the return start? All right. And uh, I'm going to leave that blank because I'm going to say the return starts immediately instead of waiting a period. All right. So if I do this, we're going to see that, okay, it will last uh, a little over 19 or just about 19 and a half years if I do that. All right. So that's with N per and that's with making a single withdrawal, say at the end of a year. Okay. If we want to adjust that to make a monthly withdrawal, I'll just get back in there. And uh, instead of earning this 4% a year, right? We're going to earn one twelfth of that each month. All right. And then I'm going to take the 75,000 and divide that by 12. All right. So this is going to give me number of periods in months. All right. So 229. And then to adjust that for years, right? I'll just divide by 12. Okay. So a, a little bit less, right? So it was 19.43 if we did just one withdrawal at the end of the year. But if we withdraw monthly, which is, I think, what people would do, we can see it, it lasts a, a little bit less. If we want to estimate an annual withdrawal and uh, have the asset last for 25 years, right? So maybe 19 isn't quite long enough. Uh, I'm going to use the PMT function here. And uh, again, the rate is going to be that 4%. Okay. And then the number of periods is going to be this 25 for 25 years. So again, I'll just do it annually here initially. All right. And then how much do I have? It's the negative present value. Again, right, future value and type, I can leave off and just let them be the defaults. And we can see that, okay, we can withdraw about 64,000 uh, a year if I do this. Okay, a little bit of a over estimate there, right? So it'll be a little bit less than that, right? 63 and very close to 64,000, but not, not quite as much as it shows here. All right, and again, if we want to adjust this for uh, how much can we withdraw each month? Again, I'll use the PMT function. All right, the rate. Okay, and instead of uh, just one lump 4% at the end of the year, we're going to earn uh, one twelfth of that each month. All right, I'm going to take my 25 years and I'm going to multiply that by 12 to get that monthly. All right, and then again, the same uh, negative beginning balance. Each month, I can withdraw about 5,200 and then yeah, if I multiply this by 12, uh, we can see uh, how far off we were 
uh, with the with the uh, once per year withdrawal. All right, so 63, uh, 340 if I do it this way. Okay, so I'll make the spreadsheet available uh, from a link in the video description. And uh, hopefully that helps you uh, see just about how long your retirement nest egg will last.